Good evening. Today is September 17th, and this is The View with Catherine Chong. Today's topic is the new era of the Taiwan-U.S. relationship. Keith Craig visits Taiwan. The United States Under Secretary Keith Kress arrived in Taiwan at 5.21 p.m. This is the highest ranking official from the U.S. to visit Taiwan in 41 years. His arrival created a new historical record for the relationship between Taiwan and the United States. You can see this is the crack when he got off the charter flight. And also we can see that over here, he's kind of greeting the ARG director, Brent Christensen. And this is what we have the Shongshan Airport. In particular, the spokesperson for the U.S. Department of State, Morgan Otegas, issued a statement of crack visiting Taiwan in the early morning today. And the economic dialogue, arms sales to Taiwan, and lifting the ban of U.S. pork have become the highlight of today, too. Here are some points. A. I want to talk about spokesperson Otega for talking about the announcement today, saying that U.S. Undersecretary Keith Kraft will visit Taiwan to attend the memorial service for former President Li Denghui. And she also emphasized that the U.S. will continue the strong bounds with Taiwan through shared political and economic value. Well, I think the so-called shared political and economic value is to rebut China because Pompeo made a statement yesterday that the world has awakened the tie has turned on global perception of Chinese threats. Therefore, I think what Ortega means is that the U.S. has come on political and economic values with Taiwan, but not with China. B. Keith Craig proposed a new economic platform in May, and which is EPN, Economic Prosperity Network, with members, you know, kind of including the members uh, we're talking about U.S., Japan, South Korea, New Zealand, Australia, and India. Is it possible that Taiwan might join? Therefore, besides sign the BTA, join the EPN will be another highlight for the U.S.-Taiwan dialogue. C. As for arms sales, according to Reuters, you know that the U.S. will carry out a new wave of arms sales to Taiwan, which may have seven major items, including cruise missiles, drones, and the high-mobility artillery rocket system, HIMARS. I think that pursuing seven military systems at once is very, very rare. This is also a gesture of the United States to show China that they don't care about a so-called A-17 communique by Qigong Bao. D. Asteroid U.S. pork. CCC had Chen Shizhong started the first stop of the uh, demonstration of the U.S. pork label today in the well-known Dihua Jie Street Market. Well, look at this. We can see that this is CCC had Ah Zhong attending the activity today. This is what we're talking about the pork, and this is how we label it. E, I want to talk about, although there was a saying today that Craig will not uh, preside over the economic and trade dialogue because the uh, oppose of the USTR, the United States Trade Representative, USTR wants to handle the talk themselves. However, I don't think this is a big deal because Taiwan and the U.S. will still communicate in the form of pre-dialogue tomorrow. Except U.S. Under Secretary of State, uh, we're talking about Crack, and Assistant Secretary of State for Democracy and Human Rights, Robert Destro, also visit Taiwan today. I want to say, Under Secretary of State, uh, talking about Crack, and Assistant Secretary Destro, Taiwan welcome you. To be honest, I'm not worried about the epidemic prevention program for crack delegation. What I'm curious about is what will he bring to the negotiating table? What will he offer to Taiwan? Of course, I'm also curious about China's possible further reactions besides conducting the military exercise at East China Sea today. Without KMT's participation in a straight forum, Haixia Luntan, that hold on September 20th, what will the chairman of the Chinese People Political Consultative Conference, Wang Yang, say? Here are the top stories. Today we have three confirmed cases. They are all imported cases. They came back to Taiwan from the United Kingdom, Myanmar, and the Philippines. 
It is official. We want to talk about the U.S. highest level official to visit Taiwan today. The U.S. Department of State made an announcement early morning today, and it said that Keith Craig is one of the six undersecretaries in the U.S. Department of State. Will be the highest ranking official from the department to visit Taiwan since U.S. Taiwan broke in ties in 1979. Also, the U.S. Department of State said Craig will attend former President Li Denghui's memorial service on September 19th. It said that the United States honors President Li's legacy by continuing our strong bonds with Taiwan and its vibrant democracy through shared political and economic values. Besides that, MOFA will come to Craig's visit. MOFA spokesperson Joanne O、oh、said that. Taiwan is glad to see that the U.S. is sending crack to Taiwan to discuss ways to strengthen bilateral economic ties. We believe the latest visit will deepen the close economic tie between Taiwan and the United States. On the other hand, China did another provocation to Taiwan. You know, you can see from the map the Chinese fighter into Taiwan's AGIZ on September 16. According to Taiwan Ministry of Defense, the two Chinese anti-submarine aircraft flew around the same airspace of Taiwan's southwest coast and were driven away by Taiwan Air Force. China's action was likely to denounce the U.S. for supporting Taiwan. Well, I want to share with you and. And、here we can see from the map. This is the picture of People's Liberation Army fighter jet into Taiwan's ADIZ. You can see that from the map. This is Taiwan, and over here, here is the Dongsha Island. And two China's anti-submarine aircraft just flew over here. This is our south. We're talking about southwest part of our ADIZ. There's a big news today. I want to say about that the、uh, regarding arms sales to Taiwan. Reuters published an article with the title "Exclusive U.S. Pushes Arms Sales Surge to Taiwan, Needling China." It said that. The U.S. plans to sell seven major weapon systems, including mines, cruise missiles, and drones, to Taiwan. Washington had been eager to create a military counterbalance to Chinese force and building on an effort as known as Fortress Taiwan. That's how we translate it. Baolei Taiwan. Well, in these arms sales items, I want to emphasize two items. One of them is the Sea Guardian drone. This is Sea Guardian drone, which can be in the sky for 24 hours, which is beneficial to Taiwan to surveil China aircrafts. And the second is the Hymers, and it is a rocket that can shut down and also shut with a range of 42. Kilometers. Additionally, Taiwan has made a major step in the United Nations. U.S. Ambassador to the UN Katy Craft had a lunch with James Lee Li Guangzhang, the director of the Taipei Economic and Culture Office in New York. Well, this is why they have lunch together, and this was the first meeting between a top Taiwan official and the United States Ambassador to the UN. And Katy Craft also said that. It really is a shame because Taiwan should be able to participate in the UN affairs just like everyone else. If the U.S. doesn't stand up to China, then who's going to when it comes to Taiwan? Also, as Yoshihide Suga Jianyiwei become the Prime Minister of Japan, Taiwan Presidential Office congratulates him. Spokesperson Zhang Junhan said that Suga has long been a supporter of Taiwan, and as Japan's Chief Cabinet Secretary, often stated that Taiwan and Japan share fundamental values such as freedom, and democracy, human rights, and the rule of law. And for former Japan Prime Minister Yoshiro Mori will attend the former President Li Denghui's memorial, and you can see that here Yoshiro Mori will visit Taiwan for the second time in two months as a government envoy. He will lead a, a parliamentary delegation to Taiwan on September 18th. That will be tomorrow on the charter flight and attend a memorial service in the next day. In the end, I want to share with you that Taiwan posts a 26-second video show Taiwan can help in Times Square in the United States on September 15th. Well, you can see over here. This is a photo, and these photos of people wearing the mask that are made in Taiwan, and it said. 
Taiwan can help. So you can see that Taiwan is walking all over to the world. Well, that is very important. Also about Undersecretary Keith Craig visiting Taiwan tomorrow. He's going to meet the President Tsai. So uh, what will happen tomorrow? We'll have a special news on that. So please tune in. I'm Catherine Chang. This is The View with Catherine Chang. I'll see you tomorrow.